Development partners, government heads and others attended the launch program last night at Hilton Hotel. Speaking there, Environment Minister Wera Mori says the plan is a legal framework for the responsible government agency to implement. He says this is vital so Papua New Guinea can access external funding. They're not just another document. Basically, these are more or less seen as the legal framework uh, for us to basically be in a position uh, to negotiate uh, climate you know, uh, funding at the, you know, whether it be at the COP26 or into the future. We must have a legal framework of which the, uh, the global you know, climate funds will have visibility that uh, when they are giving us funding at least we have fixed programs. As a developing nation, Papua New Guinea is at the crossroads with most communities facing challenges of climate change and disasters. With the launch of the NDC plan, it will help assist address challenges. The minister responsible urged all levels of government and development partners to chart a way forward in every agenda for a better environment for all. We had closely worked together with, uh, in dialogue with my, my department, uh, CCDA, and uh, they have basically outlined our participation um, in Glasgow. Uh, we have, you know, so our preparations are well advanced and we look forward to going there in the next three weeks. British High Commissioner Keith Scott maintained his support, stating UK is a lead player and working together is key. He says with recent climate change talks planned for this year, he hopes governments will conclude to work together. Um, what, what we want to do as the United Kingdom is provide that platform as chair uh, for, for countries to really, really step up and, and meet the challenge, the challenge that will help countries like Papua New Guinea develop their potential. Uh, and I guess one thing I, d I didn't say in my remarks is that we must get away from this idea that climate change is, is, a, is, a, is an issue in a separate box. Uh, the minister leads on climate change, but he needs every single one of his colleagues mm. to, to deliver. Uh, whether it's green electricity, uh, whether you know it's road building, you've got to have that that environmental impact um, assessment in mind, and that's quite difficult to do in countries like the United Kingdom and, and elsewhere. We find that difficult, but it is a mindset. It's not just the minister's responsibility; it's everyone's responsibility, um, and that's why I'm quite uh, encouraged by the documentation that, that Papua New Guinea has launched today, because that makes it everyone's responsibility. Jugla Power Junior, National MTV News.